Can you tell me a bit more about Trident Energy? Sure. Uh, I'm Jonathan Armstrong with uh, Trident Energy. Uh, Trident Energy is developing a low-cost, high-reliability linear generator. So a linear generator takes up down motion, converts it directly into electricity, no requirement for gearboxes or hydraulics, uh, and that means it's simple. Uh, it is cheap and it's reliable, which means it's an ideal technology for the offshore environment. And so we're looking to apply this technology in four different market applications. Uh, the first one is as a substitute for diesel generation. So offshore wind farms, before they're grid connected, need power because they're a big piece of metal in the sea. So they need power for heating, ventilation, lighting. And so they all have diesel generators on them. These diesel generators are very expensive to refuel offshore, and so our technology is a replacement for the diesel generation. So it's a low carbon replacement for diesel generators. That's one. Do you want me to? I'll go through the other three quickly. So the second application is then to deploy that technology at bigger scale to provide additional electricity generation. So you have common infrastructure with a wind turbine at the top wave technology at the, uh, at the water level, sharing the infrastructure and providing uh, the power onto the onshore electricity grid. So you get uh, more power using the same infrastructure. Very quickly, third application, it's an ideal generator for other people's wave energy devices. Uh, and finally, it's also an ideal uh, generator solution to uh, substitute for diesel generation on offshore uh, oil and gas platforms. And uh, where, where are you based right now and where are you doing your most work at the moment? Uh, the company has its operational headquarters in the centre of Glasgow in Scotland uh, and it also has a London office. Uh, we're doing R&D, um, a lot of R&D is from our Glasgow office. Uh, we also have a onshore test facility in Lowestoft based around the offshore wind hub in East Anglia. Uh, and we are moving on to do sea trials of our technology, which uh, we'll do uh, in the north of Scotland later this year. Very good. And uh, where are you hoping to expand to after this, maybe looking 10, 15 years down the road? Uh, 10 to 15 years, you're, you're a big crystal ball for that one. but. Um, in that time scale, over the next 10 to 15 years, we're likely to see 15 to 20,000 offshore wind turbines going out globally. Uh, and we want to be co-installed on a, a large proportion of those. So uh, that gives us a very, very attractive business. So commercially as a business, uh, we have uh, a very attractive business co-locating on a very small portion of those offshore wind turbines. Uh, but our ambition is, uh, it is greater than that, so we want to have the concept of co-location as, uh, as the norm, and so that uh, wave and wind technologies are combined and we drive down the cost of electricity for the consumer by sharing the infrastructure costs. And you've mentioned some of the uh, advantages here. Um, what makes your product especially get given an edge over competing products? Well, I'll answer that in two parts. One is what makes linear generators special. Uh, linear generators are a replacement for typically hydraulic systems and gearboxes. Uh, and the, the advantage of a linear generator system is actually its simplicity. So it takes the motion and converts it directly into electricity, uh, which means that it's a more reliable technology for the offshore environment. Uh, Trident Energy's linear generator has a number of design features. Uh, it, it's a tubular linear generator, which means that the forces balance, which again helps it to be uh, long-term reliable. Uh, uh, critically, its magnetic material is a low-cost magnetic material. It's not a rare earth magnet. Uh, and that means, again, it's low cost and also there are problems with security of supply around rare earth magnets. So uh, the use of our low cost material is a really important advantage for our technology as well. And finally, why the name uh, Trident Energy? Uh, well, Trident Energy, Trident, Neptune's Trident for under the sea, uh, and energy because that's the business we're in.